What's going on, everybody? This is T Reaper, and I'm back with another video. Uh, before I be begin our wonderful education for the day, I just want to let everybody know my review for Crackdown 3 is still in my backup, and I legitly just went to Anthem, and that I also actually personally have to do that too. And then we have Division 2, yay, coming up. Uh, in one week so let's uh uh everybody be patient i am a very very busy person but have any questions about games anytime feel free to reach out on twitter or instagram and i'll answer your questions but yeah division two looking forward to that it's gonna be fun so i have been kind of just observing everybody i um shout out to uh, the dx mansion and everybody in there shout out to all the og guys uh shout out to you know everybody on YouTube that has been like struggling um, and you know unfortunately you put the wrong people in a couple of positions and they leave people for a long time that shouldn't be there and all of a sudden they're trying to take you out with bullshit <sighs> this that time of year that we all have to realize next gen is coming and you all have to make a choice so I love how like everybody's like, oh, Phil lied, Phil lied, Phil lied, Phil lied, Phil lied. Phil didn't lie, he didn't lie. Okay, I love this wonderful concept um, that people seem to have that you know to be a Xbox gamer. Xbox is a device, by the way. Uh, you have to only solely be dedicated to one brand or set exclusives. More on, more, more. Sorry, moreover, and I find it really annoying because that's not really what makes you a gamer. I would assume gamer would imply the more quantity you play, the more you know, the more you educate, and the more that you, you know, fill your brain with wonderful knowledge. Now, for those who want to beg a differ that knowledge is pointless, now you can agree to disagree on that if you wish, but. At the same time, I'd be like, well, it's still knowledge nonetheless, um, as everybody on Twitter seems to pay attention to, so, <laughs> so, uh, at the same time, like, you know, it's like, I, you know, I, you know, oh, if I really cared only about Halo and Gears and, you know, like, Fable, you know, for Xbox, do you really think I would have actually seven of them? You know, just out of curiosity. <laughs> You know, but do you think I would have actually bought seven of them if I only cared about three different games? <laughs> that's actually really funny. Uh, no, people. That's why things called multi-plots exist. Uh, you know, wonderful PC elitists. That's why you say, you know, you wonderful Steam sales exist. You know, it's just like, it's just like, that's just really funny. I mean, everybody who judges people that way, I kind of get annoyed because I'm like, you know, that's not really a point, right? Because, you know, yeah, like, this Xbox dude, like, all he does is play Forza. Meanwhile, the guy in the background, all he does is play Halo. Meanwhile, the other idiot in the background only plays Gears. You know, it's like, and then, you know, and then secret in the background, you have the little, like, like goblin PC, you know, Cult, cult of that are so obsessed with PC power uh, that they're like, oh, which one shall we devour first? And in all reality, people, that's not the way it is. And it's really funny that you guys think that. But it's just like, no, like, you know, okay. So, like, if PC goblins are everywhere, here's what you do. You literally just throw them pat with facts that they just have to basically, you know, just bend the knee and say, you know what, you have your point, I have my point, move on. Because they won't, they won't win an actual argument if you actually point out actual facts. Because, you know, meanwhile, you know, in the background, we have people on this wonderful platform that say they're gamers, but really aren't gamers. Or, you know, sometimes they misconstrue, um, they misrepresent what they mean. So, for example, you have people that, you know, say they weren't gamers, you know, say they aren't app gamers to begin with, and they've never actually fully played a full game, but then you give them something that they actually fully like to talk about and enjoy, and they can fill your ears with hours and hours of knowledge. So it's like, it really depends on the delivery, 
uh, everybody and not necessarily, you know, the message that it entails. So it's all about how you have basically deliver the message. But no, I, you know, Phil didn't lie. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I, like, you know, you know, I don't understand what's better about, you know, like, I agree that, you know, 5G is going to be immensely, you know, empowering and, you know, innovative. You know, you know, I'm, you know, Halo Infinite, you know, BAM, here's 5, BAM, you know, it's like, but you also have to keep in mind that, you know, if you invest inside a platform, make sure that it has quality content year after year after year after year after year after year that you enjoy to play because otherwise what's the point of investing in a $500 console people so like let alone seven of them so I would I would argue that you know if you choose a platform please make sure that it has the content that you love to play before you press swipe <laughs> but at the same time you know you know you got like, oh, like you, you have the exclusive only! Yeah, because I was going to get it really far 15 years ago. Nah. At the same time, you know, and then you have the real, like, then you have the real fanboys that only are, like, the, um, the nerd, the nerd fanboys that know everything about one certain brand or topic. So you have the Halo nerds, for example, or you got the Gears nerds, or you got the Forza nerds, or you got everybody that knows everything about RPGs in general. Or wonderful... MMO, you know, current, you know, topic on, uh, on, on Twitter. So I would argue that, you know, at the same time, you know, you know, gaming is full of different types of people, you know, if you keep arguing that exclusive argument, you're going to end up being screwed. Um, and overall, it's just like, you know, he, he want, you know, more people that have access to the platform, the more revenue, the more income, but yes, you know, I would argue that you first have to deliver quality product first, and besides, you know, Halo Four, you know, you know, I agree. Crackdown Three is awesome. I I love Wrecking Zone. That that stuff is dope. I'll play that hours on hours on hours if I'm in the mood. But you know, if I was just to devote myself to Crackdown Three or you know Halo, you know Halo Five or upcoming Halo Infinite, I would be like, I would just be so bored all the time. That's why you know I have you know. I have mo I'm a multi multicultural you know interest person that likes to play different types of games. Now normally they're all t sort of the same. I just really don't. I really just don't honestly like playing third person competitive shooters. That's the only thing I don't like doing. I don't like doing that. I'll play it for story. I just won't play it for competitive multiplayer unless it's you know like something that I actually enjoy to play and I have fun with it. But you know, and if I'm good with it, I'm good with it. If not, if not, it don't really matter. But it's just you know. It's, that's just the way it is, but you know, it's just kind of funny. And then, uh, <coughs> then you have people that you know are like try to pl go ham, but don't actually beat the actual main story of the actual game. So, like when you're actually playing the actual story of the game for like the fifth or sixth time that week since you beat it, and you think these level thirties actually know what they're doing. You then realize that they don't actually have never actually been this far before in the game, and you're like, "What? Nah." <laughs> it's like they like, how the hell are you level thirty but haven't beat the game yet? I don't like. I'm level twenty. I was like level twenty one or something when I beat the game. And I was like, "That's not that hard." What did you just grind the entire time and just use it as a grinding fest right off the bat, and not even take interest in the story? Okay, but like, yeah, nah. But I hope the division is awesome. Uh, in closing, everybody, thank you so much for the new support, um, and, uh, we are going to have a fun, quote-unquote, we are going to have a fun season. Everybody, um, I'm pretty much online around the clock, hit me up on Xbox Live if you wish, Instagram, Twitter, and, yeah, let's go, everybody. This is Reaper, and I'm out, I'll catch you guys later.